this episode of Extraordinary Women TV. The show wouldn't be complete without my Good to Know Minute, where you will learn the top success tips and tools from today's most extraordinary women. speaking with Mary Trippi, owner of Mary Trippi Salon. Uh, Mary, I know that you have some involvement with the Canadian Beauty Innovation Awards. Tell us about that, that connection. Well, uh, the first year I was asked to be a judge and the experience was so incredible because I saw new talent, new products and they were all Canadian and it's something that I think um, we have to support and we have such great talent here and uh, I'm, I'm just so inc incredibly happy to see that it's happening in Toronto. I'm at Cambria with Natasha Lewis Ferguson. And um, Natasha, you are the founder of the Canadian Beauty Innovation Awards. What sparked you to, to create uh, such a fabulous organization? Well, um, thank you, Shannon. Um, I come from a marketing communications background. I've always been very much into consumer interaction and how to best create that. And it, it basically, you know, the Canadian Beauty Innovation Awards came from my knowledge and experience of, you know, the marketing communications industry. And uh, I, I found a, a loop in, in, in the beauty industry and thought, you know, uh, Consumers definitely need to understand um, what new innovations are out there right now and also understand, you know, different self-care methods and unique self-care methods. So this show is, is allowing consumers to experience that, but more so it's allowing brands to play on the same playing field. Uh, no longer do you have to have a big bud the big budgets like some of the bigger um, cosmetic companies. Everybody's on the same playing field within my platform. And uh, you did also partner with a charity. Uh, yeah. Let's talk about that. Well, um, I, lung cancer is close to my heart. I have family members and as well as somebody on my committee who has suffered with lung cancer for the last six years. Um, in fact, she just um, just made it out of a, a really, really tumultuous surgery. And, and um, a part of beauty innovation and a part of what we're doing here is bringing innovation to the surface and there's a lot of uh, misconception about why people have lung cancer. Sometimes they think it's because they smoke. It's, there's a stigma attached to it. Um, there are a lot of innovations that are being put in place for lung cancer where you can actually, we can actually now figure out what's happening um, before, you know, being able to see it before it comes in and attacks. Um, there are people who have never smoked a day in their life and they have gotten lung cancer and they suffer from lung cancer. Um, a big part of what we're doing here on the Saturday, which is the beauty ball, the inaugural beauty ball, is to support lung cancer and its efforts to find innovative ways to um, uh, catch the disease before it, 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 it's allowed to take over the person's body or individual's body. So it's definitely important for me. Um, and, and I hope that um, during the show that that really shines through because it's about beauty and, and we want people to have beautiful lungs and, and healthy lungs. And now the Good to Know Minute. So if you had one piece of advice for uh, uh, any young girl out there who has a dream of becoming an entrepreneur in the, in the, beauty, and, uh, uh, in the beauty industry, what would you say to her today? Um, be true to yourself. Uh, never give up. Hard work is uh, synonymous with um, success. And I know personally from myself, coming where I've come from and working hard. I work hard every day. This is uh, something that's been in the making for the last 10 years um, that you just have to keep going until you hit it. And um, so that's what I would say. Don't give up and just put the hard work in and you will see something come back and it will be success. Well, thank you so much, Natasha. I wish you all the best. Thank you, Shannon. Thank you. I'm here at Cambria with Linda Leatherdale. So Linda, tell us, um, what is your, your role with Cambria? Um, it's 
a fun role. I'm Vice President of Marketing and Business Development for Cambria. So it's all about branding the product and certainly spreading the Cambria love. Now, you come from a, a media background. Uh, you worked for The Sun for many years. You still write for The Sun. I still write for The Sun. Yeah, it's an, been an interesting journey for you to sort of switch gears from uh, media to marketing. Absolutely. I think um, given the wealth of my media experience really lends itself to the new role, um, Yes, I was the money editor of the Toronto Sun for over 20 years, and as you well know, I had my own Moneyline TV show on Rogers uh, 11 years. I did breakfast television, global television, so certainly I, I have those contacts in the media. And yes, I do continue to write, and I have been doing the Roy Green Show and the Chorus Radio Network right across the country. So Linda, I have one last question. Uh, if there was a young girl out there who was watching this and uh, she aspires to be a journalist, uh, which is something you know a lot about, what piece of advice would you give her today? Okay, well, first of all, if you're going to go into journalism, don't expect to go to the top job right at the start. It's going to be hard work, and I often say to people, go to your own local community and get a job in the local newspaper. Um, You've got to start somewhere, but always have a dream, and I believe in that. If you have a dream and you see yourself someplace, it's going to be easier to get there. And you're hosting the Canadian Beauty Innovation Awards. Yes. In the studio, we open it up. We've done a lot of amazing things here, including fundraisers for charities, et cetera, et cetera. But the latest will be the Beauty Innovation Awards. What we love about this is they're in beauty and innovation. Cambria's Beauty and Innovation. To partner all together, it's going to be so exciting. And it's going to be a lot of fun. And you have Muriel Hemingway here, too. Yeah, well, Muriel Hemingway is one of our brand advocates. And as you know, she's an actress and author. Uh, her running from a crazy documentary just got nominated for an Emmy. What a great spokesperson with her uh, beauty message, her health message, inner self message. She's just an inspiration to be around. First of all, um, I'm a health and wellness sort of I'm passionate, uh, I'm an advocate, I want to make people feel better about themselves in body, mind, and spirit. And part of that, I wrote a book called Healthy Living from the Inside Out, and one of the, one of the chapters was all about your home, because I really believe that our home is part of our health and wellness. Like, to have a home that expresses who you are and makes you feel great about who you are is part of our feeling of well-being and our, our wellness. So it's 360 degrees of beauty. So it's, it's beauty on the inside, it's beauty on the outside, it's our environment being beautiful also helps us to feel better about who we are. And I think that that's really important. And they are one of the hosts of the Rogers Cup this year. I love tennis. My father was a great tennis player and I used to play tennis as a kid a lot, a lot, a lot. And what, my sister was actually ranked in California years and years ago. So tennis has always been kind of a big part of our lives so it's it's great fun to be here and watching the Rogers Cup and being a part of a sponsorship program. Now speaking of philosophy I mean you have um, a deep deep philosophy on healthy living so let's talk a little bit about I mean we talked about sort of uh, you know the kitchen and your home being important but let's talk about sort of your philosophy and healthy living a little bro more broadly. Well you know uh, Healthy living is everything you do. I wrote a book um, this last year with my partner, Bobby Williams. It, it, it came out in, when did it come out? 2013, 14, I don't know, I can't remember, but it was sometime, very recently. And it's called Running With Nature, and it's about all the things that everybody can do to make their lives better. Not things that you have to pay for, but things that, like how do you wake up in the morning? Do you drink water? Do you drink water out of glass? Do you breathe? Do you take time to be silent? What kind of food do you eat? Do you, do you eat locally and sustainably as much as possible? I mean, 75% of our population is within five miles of a farmer's market and doesn't know it. And, and when you eat organically and sustainably, you're also interacting with local, the, the local farmers and the local economy is something that you're supporting. So my belief is that how we live our everyday life, the simple tasks, it's sort of a Buddhist mentality of, of like chop wood, carry water. It's what, what we do in the simple tasks of our day, how we wake up in the morning, how we eat, how we do things with mindfulness, with awareness, with consciousness, really uh, informs our whole well-being and whether we're going to be successful.
So it's about having a holistic viewpoint on 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 life, and 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 it's not just one thing that you do. It's it, you know, like we're talking about Cambria. It's everything. It's it's your kitchen, it's your home, it's your it's breathing, it's exercise. Exercise is a huge part. We call it running with nature because we think nature is such a big and important teacher to all of us. So how important is it then for women to listen to their hearts and to follow that that whispering that's in the heart? It's hugely important. I mean, women, you know, we're, we're known for having women's intuition and yet we've, we've kind of distanced ourselves. We separated from our own knowing. And the, 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 no, the intuition, the knowing, the heart, that's all the same. And that's our, our innate understanding of ourselves. And the only way that we can get in touch with that knowing is to get still every day. But, you know, for me, it's meditation. I meditate twice a day, 20 minutes twice a day, um, because that's what helps me to go back to myself. But everybody finds a different way to un to hear their voice. But you have to get still, and it doesn't necessarily happen in stillness. And and if somebody says, "Oh my God, I could never sit in meditation for 20 minutes twice a day," then sit in for five minutes. But getting still and silent helps your own voice to kind of be unveiled. Uh, and you were quoted as saying, uh, everyone has the same story. Can you elaborate on that? Well, the reason why I did the movie Running From Crazy is because I think everybody does have the same story. It's not because my story is so extraordinary, it's so daunting. It's, it's because it's not. That's my feeling. Because when I go and I speak around the U.S. or Canada and I speak about this movie, people, or, or people see the movie and they come on my Facebook page and they comment, every, almost 90% of those people say, I have your story. Of course you do. Everybody has the same story. We all suffer something. I mean, we, ha we know somebody who is suicidal or depressed, or we may have felt, felt depression in our own lives, but we don't know what to do with it, and we don't want to talk about it because there's stigma attached to mental illness. And mental illness isn't just depression and suicide and schizophrenia. It's also OCD. It's also bulimia. It's anorexia. It's, it's obsessions with food. It's stress. I mean, everybody deals with stress. So it's about understanding that we all have a story. We all come from something and it doesn't make us bad. It's all okay, but sometimes we need to tell our story in, in order for healing to begin. And uh, congratulations on your Emmy, um, your your Emmy nomination, your no Emmy nomination, and uh, we're going to be rooting for you. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> That's awesome. If you would like to be a guest on Extraordinary Women TV, visit our website at extraordinarywomentv.com. I'd love to hear from you. Follow me on Twitter at Shannon underscore Skinner, or on Facebook at Extraordinary Women TV. I'm Shannon Skinner. Join us next time for another episode of Extraordinary Women TV.